Alright guys, so this is going to be my last grocery shopping trip for the month. And I'm going to go ahead and break this down. This is the bread store again. I saved my receipt and you can see that it's $8.69, which I round up when I do these videos, so we'll say $9. And I got two packs of sweet rolls, two packs of zingers, and a pack of hostess. And again, that's mostly for Aaron's lunch. My Aldi's receipt. You can see I spent $57.38, so I'm going to round it up to $58, and it is Aldi's, just so you can see. Alright, so like I said, always grab a flyer when I'm walking out the door so I can circle them. Next time I'm in town, I'll know what was there. So um, for $58, we'll say, I got everything you see here. Alright, so I got three multi-colored peppers, which this was only 99 cents for three peppers, which not a bad deal at all. Um, again, 99 cents for um, vine tomatoes. So I got some tomatoes, I got some green peppers, or multi-colored peppers. I got two bags of apples here, and we already opened one of those bags. <laughs> I tend to uh, snack on my way home. <laughs> Um, tortilla chips, again, Ethan, our, our favorite kind of like go-to snack. Um, sweet onions. I don't like the regular onions. I always have to get the sweet onions. A bag of those. I got myself dried pineapple, dried banana chips. Ethan got his macaroni and cheese again. We got a green cabbage, a bunch of bananas, um, Aaron's dip again, and I'm not even going to butcher that word this time. <laughs> uh, two cucumbers. Whoop, right there. Um, brown sugar, because I use that in some recipes, and it goes slow, but I'm almost out, so had to get some more brown sugar. Went ahead and just got tartar sauce, because it was cheaper than buying relish to make my own. Um, got ranch dressing, Italian dressing. I got two cans of these peach slices. I've got margarine. I guess you'd call this margarine. It's not even butter. It's just, you know, spread. <laughs> um, I got two packs of lunch meat. This one's turkey and then ham. And those are for um, Aaron, lunch, that sort of thing. Cheese, some sour cream. I got two bags of sharp shredder cheese. Sh sharp cheddar. <laughs> sharp cheddar cheese. Goodness gracious. I got a bag of salad bar garden salad type of thing. I got two packs of Kool-Aid mix. Um, Aaron likes to drink Kool-Aid from time to time. We do Kool-Aid and tea during the summer, which is something we do. <laughs> I got this big, well how many pounds is this? Three pound bag of um, boneless skinless chicken breasts. I got a pack of sliced bacon hardwood smoked sugar cured. Yum. Then this was kind of like an Ethan wanted it, so mommy got it type of thing. But these are cheese balls. He loves cheese puffs, so I figured, you know what? He doesn't get a lot of junk food, so I went ahead and let him get a little thing of those. I went ahead and got tortillas because I need them for the fajitas I'm going to make and a couple other things that I want to make. I like to put cheese on here and then sometimes put beans and just have a cheese and bean burrito. That's something like, you know, that kind of thing. So I keep those around. Um... They only had flour there today. I usually get the other ones. And then I just got two loaves of plain old white bread. Here's my save a lot receipt. And there is my total, $14. And what I got at save a lot was two packs of these um, chicken legs. <laughs> About four or five days, depending upon how I split it up. So I gotta split those up a little bit. Then I also got two cans of chunked pineapples. And then I saw this tropical salad that I had to try. I don't know, it was a pregnancy craving. You know, you go in there and you're pregnant, it's just as bad as you going in and being hungry. <laughs> so I saw them and I was like, oh, those look good. So that is $14 worth, which save a lot for me is not as cheap as Aldi's. I feel like I could get more at Aldi's. And the only reason I go there is because the chicken wings are cheaper than um, if I were to go to Walmart and buy the name brand ones here. Okay, here is my Walmart receipt. Whoop. $18.68, so $19. So here's a big reason why I shop Aldi's, Save-A-Lot, um, Sale. Oh, 
$19 and this is all I got. So you can imagine how much my groceries were when I was shopping purely at Walmart. Um, so down here I got Aaron some more water for work because he switched back to drinking water instead of soda. So it's just easier for him to take bottled water. Um, and that's a 24 pack. Then I wanted some yogurt. So I went ahead and I wanted to try the key lime pie and then the bananas and cream. Then I also went ahead and picked up the sweet and sour sauce because I want to try those with the pineapples and some chicken. Got Aaron some Smooth Sunny D. Got Ethan some fruit snacks. And these are the ones with like 42 packs in them. And then a 10 pack of hangers for $20. Well, $19. Alright guys, sorry I've <laughs> tried to eat some things I need to eat, which I haven't had my lunch yet. So, total for two weeks worth of groceries is $98.75, which I'll round that up to $100 when I take it out of my checkbook. Sometimes we'll run out of juice or we'll run out of something. And typically, typically we'll spend about $10 in between there. So usually our grocery bill at most is $250. That's it. Um, $250 for the month and that includes the necessities like toilet paper, dish soap, laundry soap, that sort of thing. So, I mean, it is possible if you guys have an Aldi's or like I said, a Save-A-Lot or anything where it's basically just discounted groceries. That's all it is. You can Google it. Um, there's so many different places. Um, but I know Aldi's and Save-A-Lot are like the big name ones that I hear a lot of. Especially Aldi's. Aldi's is one that I grew up going to. So, you know, you just gotta look around, see sales, flyers, you know, Google. <laughs> it, it, definitely look around, see if you can find a discount store. If you can't find a discount store, um, I just really recommend you look at the flyers for the grocery stores around you. And if you can, coupon. Um, Aldi's does not take coupons um, because they, they sell their own brand of groceries. So, I don't have to use coupons, but Save-A-Lot I know accepts manufactured coupons and um, majority of stores have their own coupons or, or double ups and stuff like that. So if you can look into like how to coupon, uh, if you can't find those discount grocery stores, I think it would really help a lot of people out. So that's it guys and I hope that it helps, gives you some ideas, but that's just kind of how we save and how I kind of manage our money so <laughs> that'll be the last grocery haul you see from me because these are a pain in the butt to edit and film and post so there's an idea it really won't change much for us um it's usually just the same kind of thing every couple of weeks so that's it all right bye guys